Calliope, where are you? Kratos looked, but his daughter was nowhere to be seen. In the middle of the room sat a graceful figure, a figure he recognized all too well. Persephone, wife of Hades, and queen of the undead. Where is my daughter, witch? Oh, not a great... Choose your words carefully, ghost of Sparta. Yeah. You address the goddess of the underworld. Your daughter is well. She lives among the pure souls in the Elysian fields. Lead me to her. Have you forgotten, Kratos? The Olympians need you. They slumber at the hand of Morpheus. I have faithfully served the gods, yet they do not give me what I ask. I grow weary of their demands. The gods on Olympus failed me too, Kratos. I was betrayed by Zeus and tricked by my husband, Hades. Now I am to stay in the underworld as queen of the dead, to serve the fallen and care for them as my own children. Persephone! I demand to see my daughter! As you wish. If Calliope is your true desire, I can help you. But be warned, Ghost of Sparta. The world of man will suffer because of your choice. I care little for the world and its suffering. Where is she? Where is she? If you are to see your daughter again, you must become worthy of Elysium. Cast your weapons at the Forsaken Tree and let it release the evils of your past. Only then will you be free of your sins and be granted passage through the Divine Gates. You're not gonna actually do that, are you, Kratos? Come on, don't be silly. Yeah, I guess we are. Oh no! All my health upgrades! I've also lost my um, red scars. Oh, not scars, war paint. Come here. Come here, you tree. Oh, I hope I didn't need those upgrades. <laughs> you have done well, Kratos. Walk through the portal and find the one you seek. <sighs> God, you sacrificed a bit too much there, Kratos. Calliope! Father? My oh. child. Why did you go? I am here now, child. And I will not leave you again. Mm. I have watched over you pathetic mortals for a thousand years, and it is always the same. Yeah, great. Serving yourself before the needs of others has always been your flaw. But no matter. For now you serve my purpose. It is time for all that came before to end. The Titan will fulfill his role and finish what I have started. Oh, great. I released Atlas. You? As you were pathetically disarming yourself, Atlas completed the task I set him out to do. With the power of the sun in his hands, it is only a matter of time before he destroys the pillar that holds the world. Oh. And Olympus with it. Oh, great. Why? Do you think it was my choice to wed a man I did not love? Live a life I did not choose. I was betrayed by the very gods that once saw me as their own, but no more. Once the pillar is destroyed, the world will revert into chaos. And what is to become of you? I will have my peace and be free from this miserable existence. I will perish, but it is my choice. Father, what's happening? I'm scared. In your selfish choice to be with your daughter, you have caused her ruin. No. Elysium falls too, Kratos. 
she will perish. No! I will not let the gods take her from me again! Oh, crap. Father! The choice was clear to him, yet impossible to make. To stay with his daughter meant the end of the world and the end of her. To stop Persephone and Atlas would mean forsaking his daughter forever. While his hatred and anger for the gods grew ever stronger, he knew there was but one thing to do. Ah, oh, what a choice. <laughs> I have to push it away. My father, please! Be with your daughter and let the world end and let her die. Save the world. The life of one is not worth the life of many, even not one of your own, Kratos. Father! Father, no! Sorry. Give me back my orbs. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill people and leave you. Kratos soon realized. That what he gained in humanity, he lost in power. So I have to kill humanity to gain my power. He would need to become the monster he once was if he was to defeat Persephone. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, I've lost some of my abilities as well. Even my shield. Oh god. Don't think I can get any upgrades at the moment, so. I don't actually have anything. I need to kill more people. He would need to become the ghost of Sparta once again if he was to save his child. Destiny was not with Calliope. The fates were never that kind. I'm sorry, Calliope. I hope one day you think we will understand. You can get a lot of orbs here if you hadn't got all the upgrades yet. Not that it's going to be much use now. Here 
There we go. That's not gonna be that simple, is it? We're going to be versing everything here. Come here. There we go. Yeah. Final fight before the boss. Yeah, it's just... Run, stop coming! Any more? Uh, not much of a final fight. Now well, this is it. Might as well save. So I won't get another chance to. <laughs> Final boss. Atlas and Son of V. Yeah. Oh, hello. Spartan, witness the end. Wow. Nice armor. Oh, thanks for the lift. <laughs> what would Atlas do? Decide to join with a, a god. Wow. He's angry. Okay, let's do this then. Ow. Oh, she's... Strong. What the? Hey, you didn't like that. Oh crap! Hey. Ow. Oh, damn it. Ow. I think she missed. Damn. Oh, this isn't the most exciting boss fight in the world. Nothing like that, did you? Uh oh, that's not good. Go to her. Be with her. Oh no, you don't. Leave this world. That's behind. not gonna work with me, darling. Atlas. Ah, you missed. Oh. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're in trouble now, aren't you? Hold there for a sec. Stop me. Aha. Uh 
Oh yeah, we're gonna use that one. Right. Oh shit. Hey, didn't like that. Oh, she rebounded my counter attack. Smart girl. Ow. Ah, try rebounding twice. Man. Can't really use the fist here because it doesn't really have an aerial attack. Ow. Oh, that time. I don't, know what, I don't know what that circle's there for. Ow. Ow. Third time? Oh, it didn't work! Okay, don't stand in that circle then. Ah! Oh. It seems to be that's that it's like a, a sunlight fight um bouncing circle. But I don't know what it's for. It seems very effective at the moment. Two three There we go. Come on, it's almost dead. Oof, another time. Oh, getting a bit bit more cocky this time. Come on. Oh god. Two. Three. Four. There we go. Oh, I, now I know what it's for. Ah, you don't like that, do you? You won't be in a second. Take her out. Oh, you didn't like that. Your suffering will never end. Well, yours is well, yours is just about to start. There goes Helios. So Atlas has to hold the earth on his shoulders. That's punishment. Perhaps you believe the Olympians will help you. Yes. But I ask, where are your gods now, Kratos? Why do they not come to your aid? Because they're sleeping. I do not need the aid of the gods! 
but my path is now clear to me. I will serve them! And they will keep their promise to free me from my past! I ask you, Spartan, what good is the promise of an Olympian? It is all I have, Atlas! We will meet again, Spartan. The fates have deemed it. One day, you will regret what you have done here. I don't think I will. The mighty Atlas was left in chain, cursed to forever hold the world on his shoulders. Greater penance than even Zeus himself had placed on the Titans. Oh. The fate of Atlas had been sealed, and the goddess Persephone was no more. Kratos had saved mankind, Yay. but that mattered little to him. By forsaking his daughter, he had abandoned the only person he ever cared for. What he had long sought and finally found was now forever lost. Why don't you, why don't you just go back downstairs and go and get her? As the sun chariot rose higher in the sky, and the might of Helios shone once again on the world. Morpheus retreated to the shadows. Kratos gained little satisfaction from his victory. With years of servitude in front of him, he would need to confront his past and fight to reclaim the humanity he lost on the day his dark legend was born. Finally. And the sun is rose back after a cloudy day. Well, cloudy night even. Even. Oh, there you go. There's God of War chained to the Olympus. It's quite much shorter than I thought it was. I was actually quite surprised that I finished it so quickly. Maybe I just forgot. I just forget how short some of these games are. The ones on the PlayStation 2 were a bit longer. Actually, I think Ghost of Sparta was quite long. Quite lengthy as well. But, yeah. I'll, I'm planning to do the rest of the God of War games in chronological order. So the next, next time it should be a uh, God of War 1. Then go Sparta, then two, then three. I may, uh, might, I might go back to Heavy Rain as well. Uh, the recording as well again. Uh, if you like this series, please, please like, please uh, like and uh, tell your friends about me. Any views? Uh, I'll take any views you can give. Get me. And uh, feel free to subscribe and to uh, watch the other my other channels, uh, my other videos. Even sorry, there is one ex. I will end with uh, just uh, telling you that there is extra part to this right at the end. So I'll put that in at the end. Uh, until next time. See ya. The dire toll of his relentless battles finally caught up with him as Kratos fell from the chariot to the earth. Was this sacrifice too much for one to bear, even for the man who was known as the ghost of Sparta? He has again served us well, Athena. He is a remarkable mortal. He is weak. Shall we help him? He'll live. They must.